All right. Um, good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joseph Abani. I'm a YPB alumni from 2017 cohort. Here are my team members, and we'll be presenting on Jesse Burns. Next. Can I have a Okay, so according to UNICEF, 124,000 children dies every year due to contamination from waterborne diseases such as diarrhea, dysentery, and cholera. Now, this problem can easily be solved with the use of simple quality antiseptic liquid like Detour to disinfect surfaces and also water for bath. However, poor people cannot readily afford this product. And this is why we took it upon ourselves in Gestiban to produce, to produce the top product that is, ex, that is less expensive and affordable to low-income earners. Okay, so this small product... Okay, so the smaller product sells for 100 Naira, and the bigger product sells for 200. Bigger brands like Detol and Savlon, they sell their smaller products for about 350, and their bigger um, products for about 700. So, we, some of us might be familiar with the Kakatin brand. We have partnered with the Kakatin brand because they have a very strong brand acceptance in the local market. So we are leveraging on their access to grassroots markets, as well as the existing distribution channel. Our primary business model is business to business. So the cosmetic and personal care um, product industry in Nigeria is worth one trillion naira. 70% of the market is completely dominated by international brands like Rekit Benkisa, leaving just 30% for local manufacturers like us. Our target in Justin Brands is to take 5% of the available market. So we invested one million naira to start production in 20, January 2018. Between January 2018 and um, September 2018, we've been able to sell about 90,000 units of our small product. <laughs> and that helped us to generate about 6.1 million naira in a nine month period of market validation. <laughs> now, by the end of this year, we would have generated 10 million naira in revenue, our target for next year is 400 million naira, and by 2020, we want to get 1 billion naira in revenue. <laughs> However, in order for us to achieve this, we need to increase our production capacity and our working capital. And this is why we are here seeking the 5 million naira grant to enable us to automate some of our processes. With the 5 million naira grant, with the 5 million naira grant, we'll be able to buy an automatic filling and capping machine. For, one, for 4 million naira, the remaining 1 million naira will add to our current 2 million naira working capital. What would the grant impact then be? We'll be able to increase our production capacity from 125 bottles per hour currently to 8,000 bottles per hour. Now, this will also enable us to employ up to 40 other staffs to help us distribute this product. So what would the public, um, what, what, what is it for the public then? By this production, we'll be able to produce up to 1.2 million products to, and distribute to low-income earners in the country. And this will enable us to preserve the life of about 240,000 families of the poor people. Thank you. Thank you. Time out. <laughs> so one question from the judges. Okay. So we're very curious. Um, Great presentation. But is this product licensed? Do you have NAVDAC certification? Okay, already? so we have applied for NAVDAC certification and we have all the necessary equipment, water purification from start to finish and sterilizer. However, we have not been given license. This is why we are doing market validation to the communities around us. All right, thank you very much. Well done. Last, last and certainly not the least, I'd like to welcome up Lagos Thrift Store.
Good day everyone, my name is Mebe Ijoma, I'm a 2018 YPB Fellow and I'm here to introduce you to Lagos Thrift Store. I'm here to talk about Shade. Shade, just like many other young women starting off their life, she, she's um, starting off looking for her first job and some other women, they're trying to set up businesses or meeting with potential investors. Now, Shade has an interview on Monday. Shade does not have the money to buy a dress and the last thing she wants to disturb herself with is her appearance, which is already giving her self-esteem issues. Shade cannot go to the market because she would not be able to go through um, the, the inventories and pick what she really wants. Now we bring in Lagos Thrift Store. Lagos Thrift Store collects and um, sells affordable second-hand goods, which you also know as Okrika. We select from verified means, from dignified sources, and also um, dignified channels. Now, Chade has better confidence because she's getting it from rich Nigerians. She's getting it from fashion celebrities. And we also declutter premium stores. So Shade can get all those other, all these fancy clothes at affordable prices. And she, this will help boost her self-confidence. And also, she has better buying experience. From the comfort of her home, Shade will be able to select her clothes on our website and she will also get a chance to attend a pop-up market whereby she can mingle with other, other um, girls like her, her, like her and she can also sell her business, her business idea to potential investors. Um, our market size. Thrift is going mainstream. The thrift and the resale industry is moving by 15% why the um, retail industry is moving by 2% annually. And according to the recent resale reports, the resale market is, is set to hit $41 billion. With over 180 million Nigerians and 85 million people making up the labor force, we can see that this business has a market in Nigeria. And um, the need for funding, the, we need um, 5 million naira for, to build, set up a warehouse. We would like to start the clothes bank, which will enable people that cannot still afford the clothes like Shade. Clothes is very essential for us humans. The, these people, they really want to look good, but they cannot afford these clothes. So we, when we set up the clothes bank, they can easily come and pick up clothes for free. And then again, we need it for logistics and to build up an impressive consignment website and to boost our marketing. This business is being led by Umebe Ijoma. As a fashion stylist, I noticed the waste in the fashion industry with one third of our wardrobes ending up in lard fields, which leads to waste population and environmental pollution. And also eBay Linda, a marketing, an experienced marketing lead that has worked with top multinational companies. With these um, funds and everything, we hope thank, to upscale Thank you, the... thank you, Ijoma. Thank you very much. <laughs> one, one question from the judge. Where, where do you source your inventory from? Okay. Where do you source your inventory from? We source from fashion celebrities that cannot repeat their clothes and from rich Nigerians that have so much clutter in their homes but barely no time to go through them. And the premium stores. And also premium stores. These stores, they cannot do um, clearance because they don't want to be seen as cheap. So we help them do the clearance because we already sell cheap clothes. Thank you very much. Um, I want you guys to put up the, the contact details of all the three participants. I already got a message from one of my Egbons at home that uh, he wants to give. So it's not just the person that is winning this check here, but you know, people here, people at home, feel free to get in touch with them directly, engage with them, and so on, and patronize them. So the winner is Life Pro. Hold 
I would like, I would like to invite Pastor Bojo up to present them the, the, the check. Kunle Fadiora is my colleague who helped put the whole business plan competition together. Congratulations, guys. Let them take a picture. Thank you.